Welcome to a series on Unreal 5. In this video, I'm going to introduce the visual scripting language blueprints. So often when we program within Unreal 5, we program in this language blueprints. So let's get to know it a little bit better. So first, as mentioned, blueprints is a visual scripting language. We do a lot of things visually within this language and a lot of the signification that is how it shows up, things we see will be incredibly important. We'll look at that here in just a moment. Primarily, we use nodes connected by links. So as we're looking at functionality, how we do things within Blueprints, we will be looking at nodes. So instead of writing code, writing line by line by line as sort of a top to bottom, we will instead be moving left to right, which will make sense here in just a moment when we look at some screenshots. So we connect nodes and we pass data between them as needed. It can be helpful when translating existing experiences with other game engines or other programming work to think of working within Blueprints as a sequence of actions. Action, 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 action. So let's move forward. Every node in Blueprints is color coded. So we always know, again, as a visual scripting language, we always know when looking at it visually what it is. In this case, and we previously talked about this, begin play is an event, and it will be in red. Anytime we see events, they will also be in red. So this will help us, again, visually differentiate to be able to look at it and know what it is. If we're looking at events, it will be red. Begin play is an event, it's in red. It also uses icons. You will see an icon before the name of the node that signals what it is. In this case, it's an event, and notice it has a little arrow pointing to the right. Again, we move left to right. So looking at this, we can immediately tell this is event, it's in red, and it's pointing to the right. So we're moving left to right off this event in order, again, a sequence of actions. Each node can potentially have input pins and output pins. If it has input pins, they will appear on the left-hand side of the node, and if it has any output pins, they will appear on the right side of the node. The execution pin, abbreviated EXEC, will often appear on nearly all nodes, and this signals the next action in sequence. We will often see things coming into the input and things leaving the output that are not necessarily the next action in sequence. In this screenshot, we have event begin play, moving left to right, we then have print string. Notice the color of print string is different from the color of begin play. Begin play is red, print string is kind of a light blue. The signals, they are two different things, and we'll talk about those as we get into it. Notice, of course, that the icons are different. The icon before event begin play is different from the icon of print string, and this again signals that they are different things. But the execution link right here from the execution pin on event begin play on the right hand side matches the left hand side execution pin on print string. So in sequence, we are moving from one thing to the next thing in sequence. So along with pins comes an important consideration of its data type. Blueprints cares about the type of data you're using. And we'll talk a little bit more once we start kind of dealing with nodes and links and pins. But what's important right now is again, the color codedness of Blueprints as a visual language. So whenever we're looking at input and output pins, they will also have colors. Notice when we were looking at the execution pin, it's a gray kind of white color. If we're looking at other pins, input and output pins, they will be other colors, and this will signal the type of data they want. They will only accept or produce that type of data, and we'll discuss the kind of types of data that exist within Blueprints and the more common ones versus the more general ones we don't always tend to use. Looking at the pins, look at the colors, and that will help signal to you what type of data it is. In this example, we have string, which is pink, coming in as an input pin to the print string node. So along with pins, nodes, and links, we can also have comments. Pretty commonly, we will want to leave notes for ourselves to explain what the group does or otherwise describe it potentially for other people for working on a team. We can do that by using comments. 
and you will see as we start to work in Unreal, I will use comments fairly frequently. This is again to help us better organize this. Because one of the things we can do with comments is color code them. And so what I encourage people to do, especially people who are learning Unreal 5 for the first time, is to color code what the code does as well as leave a note for yourself. And this will help you better understand when you come back to it, the connections and what you're doing and how the code works. We often do these within other game engines as well. We might leave comments for ourselves. But within Unreal, and especially within Blueprints, because it's visual, we will use colors to guide us along with the colors that already exist within the language itself. So to summarize all of this, each node in Blueprints can be thought of as an action beginning from an event. I mentioned this in a previous video. We will be using events as an event-driven architecture. The foundation of our games will be events. Events will appear on the left-hand side, and our code will follow from left to right as a series of actions. We also see that data is passed via links and pins along the sequence from left to right. We will sometimes get ourselves into situations where our code, our nodes and links, will look a little bit confusing, but always pay attention to the sequence. Look for the execution pins from one action to the next action to the next action, even if things are moving in from input pins to output pins and all kinds of other things, always pay attention to the sequence of actions following the execution pins because that will be the order in which they run from left and to right. So make again a little more sense when we look at some examples, but we've now seen some screenshots of what Blueprints looks like. Nodes, pins, and paying attention to colors, which will always signify type. Again, events are red, we looked at an example of blue, we've now looked at an example of pink. We will see many other colors and they will help us better organize things as a visual scripting language working with blueprints in Unreal 5. Thanks for watching.